This is my super heavy hatchet. Took a Dayton Michigan axe and cut off about 14 inches of the handle to make a more compact implement. I'm going to destroy a shipping pallet with this and a cinder block. All right, then I'm going to come back and show you more of the super heavy hatchet. All right, and basically, you know, I chose the length according to my hands. I chose, I cut it so that I would have enough of a grip, a two-handed grip for my size hands. All right, and the handle is just made of wood like any, uh, any woodsman's axe handle would be, but I've wrapped it with some grip tape for some better grip. And you see the modification at the end of the handle, I just put a a pommel swell just to aid in retention all right this is the axe head as it comes I have not sharpened it yet all right that's why I was primarily you saw I was pretty much using it as a demolition tool but I mean this thing will be even more fearsome once it's uh, it's sharpened all right and here you see a size comparison all right the super heavy hatchet in the foreground the est wing that's a carpenter's hatchet and then on the top SOG fusion tactical tomahawk all right so you see how you know absolutely far more massive uh, this homemade hatchet is than a standard hatchet or tomahawk it, it's a whole different class of item all right here you see the business end of the super heavy hatchet it's a three and a half pound. It's a mid carbon steel drop forged axe head. Those are manufactured in Taiwan. Now, as far as the uses of this, you know, it would be very useful inside a house as kind of a, a rescue tool or a breaching tool. All right, because it would be a little unwieldy to carry, you know, a full size woodsman a woodsman's axe has a three foot long handle. So that would be a little unwieldy inside a structure. This is more portable. And the Dayton, Michigan axe that this started as, it was only $35. So I saw that and I immediately thought, you know, I wonder if I could make this into a more compact item that still has almost as much hard hitting power as the full size axe. As far as a weapon, you know, it's so heavy that you can't really manipulate it very fast. Uh, so it might not be an ideal weapon, but yet the thing hits so hard that one hit and it's over. And not even with the blade. I mean, you saw what it did to the cinder block. Even if you just used it as a bludgeon, um, yeah, it would crack zombie skulls into little pieces. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this insane creation. 
And you know, for $35, you can get your own Dayton, Michigan axe from True Temper. And just with a little bit of, you know, a hacksaw and some tape, you can modify it to this, sharpen it up, and you know, it'd be like that, that scene from The Shining with Jack Nicholson. All right, I'm just kidding, but I well, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more insane tools and weapons of all types.